Salute, salute. Salute to the most high, higher power, creator of everything, God himself, my justice system, my redeemer, my peace, my vindication. You know, salute to the most high. Salute to the most high. All right? Salute to the ancestors. I heard somebody say, oh, the ancestors can't do you no good. They're already dead. Spirits live on. Spirits guide. Okay? Spirits move on. Spirits guide. The body die. All right? Let's get that understood spiritually. So, salute to the ancestors. Salute to America. Salute to the UK. Salute to all the independent viewers whom at this time I'm going to please ask to hit that subscribe button out of sheer generosity and help a young king grow his platform. It's always about the number of subscribers slash subscriptions. Okay, so with that being said, help me out. Ladies, I appreciate your numbers. I see your numbers on the rise, on the rise. You know, we on the rise. I appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, that notification bell as well. Thumbs up this thing. All right. All right. All right. Last but not least. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. I said one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time for the uncut squad, baby. One time for the uncut squad. Y'all know how we do it. We do it. Yeah, yeah. Listen. You may not understand your spiritual assignment, but your enemy understands your spiritual assignment. Understand that every day you wake up, the devil and his agents, this world and his agents, your oppressors and their agents have an assignment. That is to make you as miserable as possible. That is to frustrate you and get you off of your grind, get you off of your journey, get you off of your mission, take you out of your focus. Okay? If you don't think that the devil understands the works and the method of God and his genius, then you are sadly mistaken. So while you're busy trying to understand your spiritual assignment and walk your spiritual journey, the devil... And his minions, the devil and his agents already know and understand. So they're going to play a game. It's, it's like a spiritual hunter, the way my cousin would break it down. We have spiritual hunters. You have people who wake up every day to be hunters and killers of spirituality. See, you've got witch hunters. You've got vibe hunters. You know what I'm saying? People that's going to destroy your vibe. You know what I'm saying? You've got peace hunters, people who are going to destroy your peace. You got love hunters, people who are going to destroy your love. Okay? All of these things go against your assignment. You didn't know that when you entered this battlefield, that it was really exactly what we're saying. It's a battlefield. And I'm explaining this thing how I heard uh, uh, Tony Evans explain it. Understand on this battlefield, there's landmines you can't see. There's barbed wires. There's grenades. There's all kind of oppositions in your way that you are going to have to get through. Once God gives you your assignment, all these obstacles are there that you are going to have to get through and maneuver around in order to get to where you need to be. Now, the job of these landmines, the job of these grenades, the job of these uh, 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 barbed wire. The very job of those who oppose you is to make sure that you cannot finish your journey. They're not going to go on this journey with you. They're not interested in your journey, but they're interested in seeing you fall. They're interested in seeing you become a non-believer. They're not interested in seeing you succeed. They're not interested in seeing you complete the journey, complete the task and receive more blessings that they would receive than they would receive. You have people out here who's going to wake up every day to kill your vibe. Spirituality hunters. You don't understand your assignment, but they do. They do. And they're going to do everything to hinder you. 
to hinder God and his will. They don't want God's peace flowing. They don't want God's love flowing. They don't want God's abundance flowing. They don't want God's grace, God's mercy, God's divine intervention, God's blessings, God's manifestations. They don't want it flowing. They don't want you to be the vessel you are for the Lord. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You can't be that because you used to do this. You used to talk like this. You used to sleep around with this many people. You used to sell drugs. You used to hang around with this person. Key word is used to. When God steps in and God changes you and God reforms your life, none of that matters anymore. The old me is dead and the new me is awakened. The old you is dead. The new you is awakened. But every day you awake, you have a task. You have an assignment. And the number one part of your assignment is to not let anyone who does not agree with your God, your spirituality, your walk, or your take on this whole thing interfere with you. Interfere with you and your direct one-on-one, one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one relationship with your higher power. Y'all better know something about this. See, there's hunters out here. Their only job is to make sure you don't succeed. Their only job is to make sure that you do fall and falter. Their only job is to make sure that you do relapse. Their only job is to make sure that you do fall back to the very world that you tried to escape spiritually. Misery loves company. Misery loves company. Be strong in your walk. You can tell those who walk in power. You can tell those who are anointed. You can tell because we hold a strength that the world just cannot infiltrate. We hold the knowledge that the world just will not let get around the way it should, that word, that knowledge, you know, wake up today and bless yourself. Today is Monday. I tell y'all all the time, Ephesians 6, 10, put on the full armor of God. Know that your God is your redeemer. Know that your God is your justice system. Know that you will be vindicated. Know that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, no matter how much they try to rule you here on earth. No matter how much they try to ruin you here on earth, no matter how much they doubt you here on earth, they have to answer the same way you have to answer. Walk in the spirit. Let no one dim your shine. Take the lampshade off of your lamp and get your shine on. The rest of this world is just lampshades to your shine. Lampshades to your shine. They don't understand you. They don't understand the anointing. They don't understand the power. They don't understand the empowerment. They don't understand you being the vessel that you are. They don't understand your blessings. They don't understand how they cannot hurt you. How you come out of every single thing that the world tries to put you in. Oh, we don't deal with that drama. We don't deal with that chaos. You know why? God got us. He's shown himself. So why change up doing what you're doing? Let your haters hate. Let your oppressors be oppressed. And let them fall. Let them see failure every time they rise up against you and God's work, God's angels, God's protection. Because this thing is divine, y'all. Just a word from Mr. Uncut. First thing in the morning, get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher powers. That's very important. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. You know what I mean? Stay protected, stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, be you. Know your assignment, live your assignment, accept your assignment. Because there's people out here who can't accept it, who won't accept it, who's going to do everything they can to ruin it, to make the new you the old you. Our job is to make the old them the new them. With that being said, glory be to God. Walk in protection. Ashe.